The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our home page and check out for more videos. Thank you. So we'll be looking at four ways people tend to deal with bitterness. Number one, people want to express that bitter feeling. Number two, they want to repress it. Number three, they want to suppress it. You have done very well. <laughs> Number four, they confess it. So I'll quickly go through the first three, and like I promised, I will rather dwell extensively on the fourth. Because the fourth is the best way to deal with bitterness. So the first one, people express it. To express is to show, manifest, or reveal. So we are saying that bitterness is a seed of resentment in the heart. The heart is the inner man. What goes on in a man's heart, nobody knows except the fellow himself. But when he expresses it, then he shows us what is on the inside. He manifests what is on the inside and he reveals what is on the inside. Now to express is to set forth one's opinion. What is in someone's mind, now the person declares it. Now a person's feeling. As in writing, speaking, painting, and in other ways, other ways. Now to express one's opinion, in and of itself is not is not a bad thing. See, because the avenue of speech goes beyond just the exchange of words or information. So through words, either by spoken word or written word, we express our feelings. Now we convey our emotions and clarify our thoughts. We reinforce our ideas and make contact with others through that expression. So it's now God created us to be talking. And so talking should be a pleasant way of passing time. Now getting to know one another through talking. Now talking also releases tension. Now it, says, it expresses feeling and opinions like we have said. But in this instance... What are you expressing? Bitterness. Because out of the fullness of the heart, the mouth will speak. And so bitterness will means manifest anger. Now fights and quarrels. See, when the tree is bad, its fruit will be bad. 
James chapter 1 verse 19. James 1 19. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Now, why this admonition, verse 20, the big one? Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. So expressing something from the inside is okay, but when the heart is full of bitterness, it will by all means come out of anger and it will not work out the righteousness of God. Now let's go to James chapter 4 verse 1. I want you to pay attention to this verse from the New Living Translation. Very important for the purpose of this teaching. What is causing the quarrels and fights among you? This is a question. Don't they come from the evil desires at war within you? Now, talking is a way of building relationship. Now, but because of the pent up feelings. James says that. What is causing the quarrels and the fighting among you? Now they are expressing themselves in quarrel and fighting. What is causing this kind of negative expression? Now we are don't they come from the evil desires at war within you? So in free makono and no nam aqua no mu ana. Now so this person is suffering. In this Adam free or bread. There is something at war within him himself. So they speak out, they express, and then they displace it on all the people around. So James here identifies the source of the quarrels and the fights among the brethren as coming from the evil desires within them. The pent up hatred. And, and feelings at war within the human heart which we have described as bitterness let us see an example of a bitter expression now we'll take one from the old testament First Samuel 25. First Samuel 25. Now David has sent his men uh, to Neba for food for his companions. Now Neba refused to give them anything. Uh, and still made some insulting comments uh, against David. And David's men went back to report everything verbatim to their master. Now, but don't be doing that. When they insult your master, when you go and you are reporting, leave someone. Yeah, because sometimes it's as if you yourself you are interested in the insult. And sometimes because of the repercussions, you may have to be wisely package what you heard. Because look at the results. First Samuel 25 verse 12. First Samuel 25 12. David's men turned around and went back. When they arrived, they report every word. And David 
was signed by car and same you know a train so if the man said you were a fool they they reported it it's a panoka today they will say oh yeah because you know what kind of stupid swine you know good yeah they didn't leave anything you know when you have to be a woman and, and so please don't do that yeah man yes sir. but anyway i understand them and so, <laughs> i'm sure they were hungry <laughs> so they also got so angry and, and then now. they wanted to lay foundation for the fight now verse 13 david said to his men if each of you strap your sword david said to his men each of you strap on on your sword so they did and David strapped his own as well. About 400 men went up with David, while 200 stayed with the supplies. And David, Catherine, and Mrantiano said, Munina, Mobot, Moncrante, Monsanem, na Munina, Bobo, one crante. Now David didn't so a born in crante. Now a bayer and Merima, a hana, a fruity, David, a cheek. Now I had no tena and no man home. Now if they had some supplies it means they didn't it means they at least they had something but what he had angered him it so, scared him he created some bitter feeling in him then he decided to express verse 21 david had just said it's been useless all oh, my watching over this fellow's property in the wilderness so that nothing of his was missing he has paid me back evil for good and so david i can say kwa ra kwa and i'm sure we are there or what is this one you know so now the a yeni dia you know move the bearer and you know and so bonnie and all the asham papa and a move may god deal with david be it ever severely if by morning I leave alive one male of all of of all who belong to him. Say Okoso or China Anopa me jit na dear oh yin mu or ni ba could say empoa or nyanko pony de with a tam for sa on koso sa and I may God deal with David. O nyanko pong and ye David is ha. What do you want God to do to you? Just because he's angry. He says, if 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 by morning any of this man's servants is alive, now, including the man himself, God should deal with David. He went to ask somebody for food. And the man says, I will not give you. So I'll kill everybody. <clears throat> See, but as such as fighting and quarreling and insulting oftentimes betray our Christian faith. And so I don't know no maybe to say or con and toka and attend you know a ye in Christ some Emma. Because scripture says that the believer must be gentle, not quarrelsome. The son said, trust him, they say, or two nini and not so didn't need ye, and says we are pupo pupo, and so we are boko. So once you go that that tangent you betray your christian faith even the people around you ask ah, you say you're a christian you are fighting okay first corinthians 3 verse 1 first corinthians 3 verse 1 brothers and sisters i could not address you as people who live by the spirit but as people who are still worldly, mere infants in Christ. Now, men so and we are no men to me. No one can say, Who move for them? Mom, say, Who never move for say, Christo mo and cocoa. I gave you milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it. Indeed, you are still not ready. Why is it describing them as infants in the Lord? I didn't think that Ochra won't say, We know where your mofra will ready, Moshe, or say, No for. And I made them a mamma, mamma no me, and yet, Yanni, if we say men to me, and if we say moon to me, yet, now say, say, Arampo, moon to me. You are so worldly. For since there is jealousy and quarreling among you, are you not well, worldly? Are you not acting like mere humans? If we say, what I saw a young one, no for now a brea and moya, ne a prepare a woman, we, when you are one, no more for. Now, Moon Nanti 
Now we don't have to behave like mere humans. Those of us who are born again are children of God. But when we tend to express bitter feelings, we become like mere men. Now, let, the, let the world know that we are people of God. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. Not those who are expressing bitterness, fighting and insulting. There are some people who say that I'll show you that I also have mouth. But you see, Christians, we don't behave like that. So most Christians will not fight. Now they wouldn't want to be expressing this bitter feeling. They wouldn't want to be doing that openly. Even though they will hold on to the grudge. They resort to either repress the feeling or suppress it. So most Christians will not be fighting. But it doesn't mean that they, they are not holding on to grudge. It doesn't mean they don't have bitterness in their hearts. That, but they will do that Christian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let me go to the next man, repress. To repress is to keep a desire, a feeling, an ashing, or tears under control or check. So now to repress is to mentally reject a painful memory or feeling. Now I don't know the bad But bitterness is a seed of resentment in the heart. So to mentally reject the memory or painful feeling of bitterness is not a solution at all. Now at best it will make you feel good momentary. So the bitterness is there. But they are trying to manage Keeping a feeling or action under control does not mean the pain or the intention is not there. Now those who repress bitterness are the kind that will smile at you publicly but behind the scenes they will speak evil about you. <laughs> let me just uh, okay, let me bring a quotation to open this up. Psalm 12, verse 2. Psalm 12, verse 2. Are we together? Fine. Everyone lies to their neighbor. They flatter with their lips, but have deception in their hearts. Everyone lies to their neighbor. They flatter with their lips, but have deception in their hearts. See the balance? They flatter with their lips. But inside they harbor deception and bitterness. These are not just hypocrites. They are duplicates of themselves. Because they are no longer deceiving others. They are deceiving themselves and believing it. Yeah. 
Because they know that they have an issue with you. It says, Yet when they meet you in church, so praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah. As for praise the Lord, they will say it to you. Praise the Lord, but they will take few steps and then they look at the back of your head and they say, This brother. And so, because if you don't say praise the Lord, the presiding elders will know that you are not in talking terms with this. You don't want anybody to take your dickenship from you. So, just to protect your dickenship, say, Praise the Lord. So, people who repress bitter feeling may converse they they converse but just shallow conversation when you, when they meet you and they say how are you before you respond they are gone before you respond they are gone how are things going before you respond they are gone how are things going before you respond they are gone how are things going before you respond they are gone how are things going then when you say praise the lord you can praise him back some of them they may not respond verbally they'll but they will so how would you want to be so i've seen people doing hallelujah <laughs> before. praise the lord <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> yeah. they will do something but you see they just the conversation is just shallow <laughs> i'm sure you are remembering yours <laughs> <laughs> This is more Pentecostal, eh? <laughs> People who, has, who repress bitter feeling are like what Matthew describes in chapter 23 from verse 25 to 28 of his book. Matthew is a man who 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 is a man. Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisees, first clean the inside of the cup and dish, and then the outside also will be clean. For I see you in the frame, oh, who grew on near you and Mukane, now a chin on so effy. Now, woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of bones of the dead, and everything unclean. More attractive for any Pharisee for your chum for, sir. So Jesus is not interested in repressing. Because he knows the state of your heart. Now, in marriage, we call this standoff. Now couples endure a standoff relationship. They tough it out. They grin and bear it. Now they wear a mask. All this goes on in the house with that they actually uh, attacking the problem and getting the solution out of it. They play out in front of others and silently endure a rotting relationship. But especially sometimes when a visitor uh, comes to the home and the man and the wife, they have not been talking for about a week. And because they are in the same house, uh, they wake up in the morning. Oh, and that, for who? <laughs> 
Okuna and now you see Anna, now the Niti Jesu at the same. But when a visitor comes, so so who be fewa? Let's say the man is an elder. If you are not so penny a besra wo, and then pastor comes to visit this elder. Ah, so penny na so fwa ba besra wo fia. Then the pastor says, "Where is mama?" Oh, na so fwa besra. Oh, mama where? Then elder says, "Hey, mama, where are you?" Oh, na so penny a friend here. Oh, mama, how are you? And mama to come. Oh, praise the Lord. Mama, pastor, how are you? And then you see that the woman actually does not know where she is. Maybe, maybe meanwhile, there's a seat beside the, 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 the husband. Okay. Then the woman went, and then pastor says, Oh, mama, why? Oh, then she come and say, Oh, then she come and say, So far, I say, Ah, I could afford to open the door. No, I could not. No, that's on who do you See, the best thing that can happen to them is for pastor not to go back home and live in that house forever. I don't know then they will change. But once pastor leaves, oh, Why did you call me? <laughs> We are here and can stop one thing. Our cause is yes to be ba. The son said, "Then he has caused no cooperate." Now so so for cooperate now. Oh yeah. See because yeah, so. the seed is there. The son said, "Abano." Now you can't hide. What me fancy? You can't hide. What me fancy? You remember yours, eh? Oh, can I can. What do you know? So. But this one. Now so we. Me sometimes I think that this one is better than. Embarrassed silence. I told you, we know me who said a yaka crack a chance will be a kuna at the end so more. Why should I want to me not a good anymore? I'll talk about that one next week if God grants us the grace. That's a net a rather the chain. I'm a kind of so much. But the first is not good. Now, so the decay, the second is not better. To me, no, no, so yes, the third is worse. To me, and sunny dear, and yeah. But it's not a progression. Some people can live in the realms of expression for the rest of their life. For them, whatever you do, they will talk, they will fight. And for others, they will live in the realms of repress. But the third group, they are most dangerous. For them, they have a serious ego and they harden their heart and they can be very dangerous. I'll talk about that next week. I hope you make time with us. So, where are you? Are you in the number one or number two? Or oh, you want to wait for the third one and find out where? I'm going to the third one and find out where. Yeah, but none is better. Bitterness kills. Make yourself nothing. We have said that, we are hinted that the reason for all this bitterness and fighting is self. Let us deal with self. And the sun will set us free. And we will be free indeed.